Christian Business Connection, connecting your business or ministry to the world. Good morning and welcome to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. Here I go. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, 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 rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it. I know that you are rejoicing today. I pray that you're rejoicing today. Let me tell you, on this July 24th of 2016, friend, let me tell you just why you should be rejoicing. How about since you opened your eyes this morning, you woke up this morning, all right? How many did? Oh, yeah, this is the day that the Lord has made for you. Hallelujah. Well, I know this is the day that he made for the CBC radio show, The Christian Business Connection, because we have got some great guests on. It's packed so much information, so much that is going on in The Christian Business Connection. Look, you got to be with me this coming Thursday. I will be at the State of the Art Adult Health Care Center located at 4130 East Lexington. We will be broadcasting the CBC radio show live. It's going to be an open house that I'm attending there for the state of the art adult health care. We're going to have a great time. Free food, giveaways. I'll be there. You'll be there. We're going to have a great time. All right. Now, the open house is from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. and I will be broadcasting the CBC radio show from 11 to 1. So, Come on out during that time and say hi to me. We're going to have so much fun. All right. Now, on the program today, we're going to be speaking this morning with Sean Scooter Thomas. That is my son. Glory to God, my only son. And he's going to be talking about Wisdom Over Hustle, LLC. The Lord is doing great things with his record label and also throughout the country with Wisdom Over Hustle. We're also going to be speaking this morning with our CBC July Author of the Month, Apostle Frank Bio. His book, The the Watchman Sees, book number two, Seeing Beyond What You See, A More Sure Word of Prophecy. Then we also have on the program this morning, none other than First Lady Yvette Thomas. She is the owner, the founder of the State of the Art Adult Healthcare Center. That's where we're going to be broadcasting live this Thursday. So we're going to talk with her this morning. You don't want to miss that. Then we also have on the program, Bishop Prentice Thomas. Bishop Thomas, oh, I, I love this man of God. He's going to talk to us about faith matters. That's right. Faith matters. Yes, faith does matter. And he's going to do a special series on that. He's continuing that series. And then, of course, we're going to speak with Miss Andrea Stewart, who is the owner of Banana Yummies. That wonderful restaurant is taking Ferguson over by storm. So you're going to hear a wonderful interview with her. And don't forget, we've got our healthy living tips that none other than Dr. Tebow, Dr. Katrina thompson Boundary is going to do for us this week. And then our new series on healthy cooking. That's right. Our healthy cooking series on the lighter side. None other done by Chef Catherine Smith. So excited about what God is doing in her business, Umami Catering. So friends, we're going to take a break. I can't tell it all. My goodness. You just got to listen to the whole program. Call somebody. Tell somebody about the CBC radio show. When I come back, we're going to hear from Scooter. Stay with me. I'll be right back. What's going on? It's your boy Scooter, and you are now listening to the CBC Radio Show with Evangelist Nona Thomas. Ladies, you are invited to a special women's retreat hosted by myself, Evangelist Nona Thomas, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, October 14th through 17th at Sojourn Christian Retreat, located in Dittmer, Missouri. Our theme for this retreat is your refreshing for the next level. One cost includes bus transportation, two-night accommodations, meals, snacks, pampering, giveaways, and so, so much more. This time of refreshing is for your next level that God is preparing you for. Call 314-270-2225 to get more information. Don't miss what God is doing at this retreat. You are invited to the CBC Leadership Networking and Prayer Breakfast Tuesday, July 26th, 8 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. at Old Henry's Restaurant located at 8600 Airport Road. Great networking, excellent food, and more. For more information and tickets, go to thecbcradioshow.com or call 270-2225. Welcome back 
to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas, and friends, I told you we were going to have on this program this morning none other than Scooter, otherwise known as Sean Thomas, my son, the founder, the director, all of that, of Wisdom Over Hustle, LLC. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Scooter. Good morning. Good morning, Evangelist Thomas. How are you doing? Well, you know what? This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will what? Rejoice and be glad in it. Come on, somebody. That's it. That's <laughs> it. This is the day. Hallelujah. Well, you know Every day is the day because truly God has a custom design blessing package for each one of us, doesn't he? Oh, yes, he does. Custom design and it's divine and it's all mine. Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> well, glory, glory, glory. Well, I can tell you're excited about what God is doing in Wisdom Over Hustle. For those who may not be familiar with the label and all that you do, give us the rundown on Wisdom Over Hustle. Thank you, Evangelist. Well, Wisdom Over Hustle is nothing more than a group of believers who have come together to share the gift of Jesus Christ to the masses. We believe that there is, uh, where two or three are gathered, he'll be in the midst. So we're more, we're a group of two or three or four or five or six or however many wants to be a part of Wisdom Over Hustle. We've come together. We're seeking God first. Wisdom Over Hustle simply stands for seek God first before you do anything. And that's all we're about. We're about asking God what direction should we go, what should we do, how should we do whatever we are going to do. And as long as it's giving him glory and lifting him up, he's going to draw all the people to him. That is so true. And it's apparent that you have been doing that with the great success that the Lord has given you for ministering literally throughout the country. As a gospel rapper, uh, he's just given you so many platforms, hasn't he? Oh, he's given me so many platforms. I just give him all the praise and the glory for it. Uh, He's placed me before great men. But, you know, that's what the Bible says, right? I mean, you know, our gifts will make room for us and place us before great men. So I'm just standing on the promises, standing on God's word, allowing him to do what he said he was going to do and me just sitting in the back seat and enjoying the ride. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, the hook for so many of your songs, they're just so catchy. You know, one of your latest releases I love uh, because you say, with God on my side, I ain't never scared. Oh, yeah. I I, I ain't never scared. Evangelist, if I may, though, uh, I believe it says Jesus on my side. I, you see, you see, there are many guys, but uh, there's <laughs> only one Jesus. So I say, with <laughs> Jesus on my side, I ain't never scared. And that's with any and every situation in life uh, that I go through. I'm never scared, never have to worry about what's going on, because I know who controls my future, who holds my future, who created everything. And I know I'm all right. So uh, I ain't never scared. That's it. That's it. Never scared. And, and, you know, it's being sung everywhere. I mean, because the hook is it's true. That's how we should feel as believers. Am I right? Yes, as believers, we should definitely not be afraid of anything. Yes, situations will come. Yes, trials and tribulations will come our way. But one thing we can we are guaranteed to know is that with Jesus Christ, we should not be scared. We can get through the situation. Uh, we have situations in order to go through to help bring other people out of it. Just like our cup, it runs over for others, not just for us. Uh, uh, but it runs over for others so they can see the good, the, the goodness and the mercy and the greatness of our God that we serve. Yes, yes. You know, the Lord has blessed you on so many different uh, uh, outlets. You have so many different outlets to talk about wisdom over hustle. You have uh, social media. You have your own Scooter TV segment. You're also a part of the Christian Business Connection TV show with your gospel and entertainment section. I mean, it's just so much, and there's so much more to do, isn't it? Oh, Oh, yeah, there, there, there's so much more. There, there, God has birthed in each one of us great things. The thing that we have to do, we have to tap into those great things so that way they can manifest and become even bigger and better things. Uh, he, he wants the world for us, and if we can only see it how he sees it, uh, we'll be better off. And that's why I'm starting to, my eyes are starting to open to know that God has great things for me, and not just for me, but for my family, which includes my mother and this radio show and TV and everything that you're doing. So I just, I just thank God that he, he, he's awesome. 
He's long suffering, and uh, he'll 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 never leave or forsake. That's it. That's it. And I, I want to say, not only is he uh, blessing and, and expanding wisdom over hustle across the country. You know, my beautiful daughter-in-law has a new business as well that is blowing up right here in St. Louis. You want to tell us about Niecy's Kitchen? Oh yeah. So Niecy's Chicken. So not only do we have the record label and uh, we do the music, the graphic design, our whole shows, TV, and all that stuff, but we also ventured out into this new thing and as an titled Nisi's Kitchen. She's open every Friday and Saturday, but I would love for her to come on the show and tell you more information about that. But Nisi's Chicken, I'm telling you, the, the, the ratings and the reviews have been nothing but phenomenal. Uh, and it's great. Not not just saying it because I'm the husband, but seriously, it's it's some good chicken. Like, for real, for real. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> and I'm not just saying just because she's my daughter-in-law, it's some great chicken, for real, for real. I'm telling you, she those hot wings, the sweet and spicy, but you're right. She's going to have so, to come on the show and really just blow that thing up because it's the truth. Oh, yeah. it's, it's the. I'm trying to tell you, it's the truth.com. Look it up. <laughs> truth.com. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll see Niecy's Kitchen. <laughs> yes, Lord. <laughs> well, you know, we just had, you just celebrated uh, another successful event recently, and I know that you're going to be uh, quarterly uh, doing even more on your special presentation of Lyrical Bliss. Is that right? Yes. Uh, we just had Lyrical Bliss. Uh, for those who attended, thank you. For those who did not attend, it's okay. You can come to the next one. Right now, we're planning it for September the 10th. Uh, so I'll definitely begin with the Christian Business Connection to hype it up more. But uh, Lyrical Bliss, September the 10th, it's going to be. This this time we, we were opening up for Christian rappers and dancers, but this time it's going to be strictly singing. So we'll have live band, we'll have singers all throughout the St. Louis area to come and uh, share the gift that God has given them. So well, they've already started rehearsal. My, my wife, Nisi, she'll be one of the artists. We've started rehearsals last week, and I'm telling you, you guys are in for a treat. Well, what's great about Wisdom Over Hustle, you know, it's not just about uh, what you do. You know, of course, you are uh, you are Wisdom Over Hustle, okay? You are Scooter. But you also promote local artists. You've always made a platform for other people to be blessed. And I'm so proud of that part because that's what I've, I've always done. I've always promoted other people and celebrated them and, and made ways so that they can get the word out about what they're doing. And you're doing that in the music industry. Yes, uh, like I said, uh, truly a, a chip off the old block. A lot of people call me Little Nona. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've heard that. I've heard that a lot. But uh, it goes back to a recent sermon I just heard. Uh, to when people can see me and say, "Whose child is that? Whose child is that?" In the physical, they'll say, "Whose child is that?" Man, this dude is doing. Whose kid is that? And they'll go and revert it back to being, "Oh, that's Nona's boy." That, that, and, you know, and and, and, it, and it's a good thing to be evangelist known as boy i mean because all the amazing things that you're doing and then in the spiritual uh for me to be spreading out the word of god and telling people about jesus to whatever be like whose child is that who 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 who's your daddy who's your who, who's your parents and, it, and then I can lead them to Christ. So it, it, it all works all together. It does. It does. Because we all have a work to do. We all are supposed to give God the glory. There are so many. Say, you know, the Bible says that the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. We need yeah. more laborers in the vineyard. Amen. Yeah, we need people not, not scared to sweat. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. That's the, that's the thing. But uh, Lord willing, you know, uh, Wisdom Over Hustle, we just want to be that platform. We want to help people, encourage people, motivate people to live for God and, uh, you know, do, do what's called of, of them to do. Indeed. Now, give us all of your contact information because Wisdom Over Hustle tours, you go into churches, youth groups. So give us all of your contact information. Yes, ma'am. But not only do we come on and perform and dance, if you have an event, if y'all need young hosts, I will host events. I, I have no problem with coming up, hyping the crowd, telling them what they need to know and things like that. But you can go to the website. Our website is www.wohmusic.com. That's W-O-H-M-U-S-I-C. Dot com. Uh, you can also call us at 314-643-7847. The number, once again, is 314-643-7847. And then I'm all over social media, um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, all of that. And it's just the at sign Scooter Wall. So that's the at sign S-C-O-O-D-A-W-O-H.
Wonderful, wonderful. I want to thank you, as always, my only son, for being a part of the CBC radio show. And God is using you to be a vessel for him. Great things. Your empire, you're, you're, you're at the cusp of it all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Love you so, so much, Mama. I love you too, son. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. What's going on? It's your boy Scooter, and you are now listening to the CBC Radio Show with Evangelist Nona Thomas. Don't miss the CBC Radio Show Live. Join Evangelist Nona Thomas as the CBC Radio Show will air live at State of the Art Adult Health Care Center. Open house Thursday, July 28th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Located at 4130 East Lexington. Tour this great facility, enjoy free food, giveaways, and more. Thursday, July 28th, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at 4130 East Lexington. CBC Radio Show Live broadcast. Don't miss it. For more info, go to thecbcradioshow.com or call 270-2225. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I tell you, this interview, I'm, I'm getting hungry before we even get into it because of the delicious food that is going on right there in Ferguson, Missouri with Banana Yummy. So without further ado, I want to welcome back to the CBC Radio Show, Miss Andrea Stewart, who is the owner, the creator, the chef, the woman of Banana Yummies. Good morning. Good morning, Vegas. How are you? I'm wonderful. I'm wonderful. You know, I, I did give you a lot of prompter, but I tell you, it's all justified and all earned. Banana Yummies is delicious. I do appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> well, you know, I got to ask you the question, and is this the day that the Lord has made for you? This is the day that the Lord has made. I am definitely exceedingly rejoicing and glad in it. Amen. Amen. And, you know, I know you are from your heart because truly the Lord has brought to fruition your vision and your dream and it's just wonderful isn't it it is it really is it's been um a miracle um each step of the way literally has been miracle by miracle it really has and i am so truly grateful to, to god for that Yes. And, you know, really, you're such a an, an encouragement to so many entrepreneurs, new businesses out there, people who are thinking about starting their business. And and it, before we go further, can you just give them a, a word from your heart this morning? Well, sure. Um, the one thing that uh, I would say, especially with the business realm, is that our biggest hindrance or our biggest thing that keeps us back from achieving anything is not our finances, even though you may think that it's not the contacts or connections that you have or don't have, it's only ourselves. Whenever we can actually get past our own mental blocks and realize that God is the only thing that we need to accomplish, uh, there's, there's a statement uh, in the business world uh, that's a call for what we had to do to get to this point, and it's called bootstrapping. That means you grab your <laughs> boots and you pull them up, <laughs> and you believe God to get to get to step in. You know, and um, there was uh, a word that I heard that just just carried me on through that. One uh, is from a Mark Sharon, I believe, uh, Dr. Mark Sharon, and he said uh, that we have the faith for this. God has given to every man the measure of faith. Mm -hmm. So whatever the the endeavor. Whatever it, the, the dream, the aspiration in the heart, you have the faith for it. Now you just have to release the doubt and move in it. Oh, that's good. Release the doubt. Mm -hmm. That's good. Take the limits off. How about that? Take the limits off. Yes, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> and surely you have done that. You know, uh, banana yummies. And, and, and really, it, 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 th that's your frozen treat, you know, for those. Tell us about that because that's really a signature piece of banana yummies. But then we're going to go into this menu. So c tell us about that signature piece. Exactly. That's that. The name came from our signature or the uh, the. Uh, uh, the, the starting item that we started Banana Yummies with, which is a frozen banana. Uh, we uh, set it up like popsicle style, and then we dip it uh, there made to order uh, in either chocolate or butterscotch or cherry, uh, and then we'll roll it in the topping of your choice. Uh, and we started doing that, and it, it just kind of grew, and we started getting more popular, so we started expanding the menu. But, yeah, that's our uh, our. Uh, flagship item. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. Now, let's get to those stuffed burgers and those uh, those house burgers, because that is really taking over Ferguson. I'm just speaking that in Jesus' name, because Amen. I have... I, I, it's so huge. That's all I can say. <laughs> Tell us about those. 
Well, yeah, they we we uh, like you heard in our uh, our promo, uh, we actually ask the individuals when they come in, we tell them, "Welcome to Banana Yummies. What's your hungry? Eight or fourteen? <laughs> uh, because you you know we we have them in the the house burgers and the eight ounce, uh, which is a half a pound of meat. So it's, it's this is not for the faint of heart. You, if you come hungry, we're going to get you full. That's right. <laughs> and uh, then our stuffed burgers, we call ourselves the home of the stuffed burgers. Those uh, starting at fourteen ounces. So yeah, so if you're hungry, you're gonna you're definitely gonna get your money's worth here. Indeed, indeed. And, you know, the presentation, I, I'm one of those folks who I believe not only do we want the food to taste delicious and, and, and be filling, but presentation, I believe, is so important. And you surely have got that down. Yeah, you know, we eat with our eyes. You know, mm-hmm. before you ever take a bite, you, you, you're looking at it. And so before we ever... Uh, you know, we we putting behind the scenes. We're putting the fresh ingredients. We're using the 100% ground beef. We're using the fresh ground beef. We're not mm-hmm. going and getting the, the the frozen patties. We're doing this by from scratch. We're doing this by hand, and mm-hmm. we're making a quality product behind the scenes. But if the pre- presentation isn't there, then you'll never get a chance to to taste or, or get past. Uh, that presentation to realize how wonderful it is. So we make sure that both aspects, what you see as well as what you taste, is, yes. is uh, right on point. Indeed. Now, as we're getting ready for the work week, today being Sunday and tomorrow, we're getting ready for the work week. So, you know, you've got some lunch specials and you take call in orders, and I know you can zip those things out to people. So tell us about the lunch specials. We do have a lunch special, it's a four ninety nine grab and go value box. Uh, where we have so that, you know, that we're able to do those pretty quickly mm-hmm. uh, to get, you know, so that if you only have a few moments, uh, you know, on, your, on that lunch break, you can run in, grab your box, and we're head on out. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, of course, calling us here at the uh, restaurant at 314-594-7335. If you want, you know, you want one of those larger burgers, but you know that you want to, you know, make sure that that's, you're able to fit it in mm-hmm. uh, to your time frame, then we can always make that, in a, you know, ahead, you know, call ahead, We'll have that ready sure. for you so that when you run in, it's ready ready to go for you. Indeed. And uh, for, the, for those who are uh, like the spicy, our burger of the month this month is our Nashville hot burger, which is, uh, you know, take off on the Nashville hot chicken. But, uh, again, it's not for the faint of heart. So if you if you like it spicy, we definitely have it spicy for you this you month. You can make it happen, huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just about out of time. But there's one thing that I want to I wanna also highlight that is so wonderful about your restaurant is that you have so many wonderful activities. I mean, folks mm-hmm. can play checkers. They can they can do ping pong. What's the thing where you throw darts? Yes. I mean, <laughs> you know, you, you encourage bar flies at your place. <laughs> well, yeah, and we want – it's a family or oriented restaurant we yes. want to make sure that you know if you, if you have the kids or if you're just coming that you know you can have a good time sit down and enjoy yourself yes. and we have the live stage here where we have live entertainment um available we also do the open mics and the karaoke sure um and then for you know if you like to come during the day you know we have like up, upcoming this saturday the 30th uh we have a, a new event here that's going to be called a coffee with kevin um, and that's going to be from 11:30 to 1 30 uh, so you can come in, uh, sit down, have a cup of coffee, get you a pastry, uh, and enjoy uh, those sessions. And then on Wednesdays, we have uh, midday meditations here as well. Wonderful. Now give us the address and your hours and your phone number, would you? Sure. The address here is 497 Airport Road. Uh, that is uh, in Ferguson, Missouri. And our hours, again, are Tuesday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Wonderful. It's just a joy, as always, to have you on the program. You're going to come back with us next week and talk some more about banana yummies? I would absolutely love to. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank, thank you so much for being a part. Miss Andrea Stewart, who is the chef? She's the woman in charge right there at Banana Yummies. Thank you so much. Thank you, Donna. You have a great one. I will. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break. Stay with me. I'll be right back. What's going on? It's your boy Scooter, and you are now listening to the CBC Radio Show with Evangelist Nona Thomas. Ladies, you are invited to a special women's retreat hosted by myself, Evangelist Nona Thomas, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, October 14th through 17th at Sojourn Christian Retreat, located in Dittmer, Missouri. Our theme for this retreat is your refreshing for the next level. One cost includes bus transportation, two-night accommodations, meals, snacks, pampering, giveaways, and so, so much more. This time of refreshing is for your 
your next level that God is preparing you for. Call 314-270-2225 to get more information. Don't miss what God is doing at this retreat. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I tell you, we are so excited about the upcoming live broadcast for the CBC Radio Show at the State of the Art Adult Health Care Center. Now, that's coming up this Thursday. We will be broadcasting from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. The open house is from 9 to 3. And let me tell you, we're going to have a good, good time. We're so blessed to have on the program this morning the founder, the creator of the State of the Art Adult Health Care Center, Mrs. Yvette Thomas. Good morning. Good morning. I am excited to be on this radio broadcast to talk and invite everyone to come out Thursday the 28th. That's this coming Thursday the 28th of July. Not tomorrow, next week, Thursday the 28th at 4130-4130 East Lexington Avenue. I tell you, we, we're, we're going to have a great time, aren't we? we? Yes, we have exciting activities. We provide transportation. We have nutritious meals and snacks. And we are going to welcome everyone. Take a tour of the facility next week and ask questions, see what we have to offer Mm -hmm. to the elderly community in the area. Mm -hmm, mm Mm-hmm. Now, also, you have, uh, you're able to also take care of folks with special needs, too. Is that right? Yes. Now, the facility has a lot of space. It's a, it was formerly a school building, mm-hmm. and um, we are using the gym that we have transformed for the adult daycare. So there is, it's a very big, huge space that um, everyone can feel at home, mm-hmm. and our motto is a home away from home. <laughs> yes. So when you come to the adult daycare, you feel at home, yes. and you become part of the loving family at the State of the Art Adult Health Care Center. Well, what I have to say is from personal experience, having been to your beautiful facility so many times, that you definitely, when you walk in, it's a spirit of peace comfort. The uh, participants, they are simply enjoying themselves. Uh, not to mention, the food is delicious. You have an excellent kitchen staff there. The chef is just phenomenal. So, it really is a home away from home. Yes. And uh, many of the participants said, you know, one of the highlights that they look forward to is the food. Mm-hmm. Then we have lots of activities. Mm-hmm. Yesterday, they had a movie day. Um I think today they're actually going to the movies, (laughs) and um, we have different field trips that we go on. When you're not in the field trips, you're at the center engaging in an activity of your choice. Mm -hmm. We do have daily devotion led by our bishop, Mm -hmm. Prentice Thomas. Mm -hmm. We have exercises every day, and then you have a choice of different activities that you would like to participate in. And Evangelist Nona, Uh its studies have shown that good socialization enhances longevity. It improves the quality of your life. It prevents memory loss. It restores the joy of living. And um, the physical activity that we also do does also enhance socialization. It keeps your joints moving Mm -hmm. so that the stiffness decreases and you are able to keep moving without the aches and pain. And I could never forget this incident. I was um, doing one of the exercise groups. So at the end of the group, we said that we're going to walk around the gym and then we were lifting up our legs really high. And I had a back pain. And I walked around the gym and lifted my legs high. And when I was finished doing that activity, there was no pain. Up to now, the pain is not there. I was like... (laughs) Whoa! (laughs) So just think about, you know, when you're not moving and you get all these aches and pains, and um, when you come to the center, um, the difference is that you are with other people and you are motivated to participate in the exercises and in the activities. So you participate in these activities, you don't have any aches and pains, and um, then you can do more. You can, and and, you know, that's so important. And and when you say do more, we're really going to be doing that at the Open House (laughs) this coming Thursday. We're going to be broadcasting uh, live the CBC radio show right there at your facility. Uh, There's going to be giveaways 
giveaways, food. I mean, it's going to be fantastic. We're just about out of time. Give us the address and the phone number for your beautiful facility. The address of the facility is 4130 East Lexington Avenue, St. Louis, Missouri, 63115. It's the school building between Clay and Fair of, of Lexington. Great. And what's um, the phone number? With the major, the major um, road there is Natural Bridge. The phone number is 314-261-4348. Again, 314-261-4348. Well, I am excited. Can't wait to see everybody. St. Louis, come on out. We're going to be there this coming Thursday, the open house is from 9 to 3, and we'll be broadcasting from 11 to 1. Lady Thomas, thank you so much for being on the program. Can't wait to see you this Thursday. Okay, that's Thursday the 28th. Yes, ma'am. We'll be there. Of July. Thursday, 20th of July, 9 to 3. Call us if you need a ride. 314-261-4348. Wonderful. You're fantastic. Looking forward to see you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. All right, friends. We're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. What's going on? It's your boy Scooter. And you are now listening to the CBC Radio Show with Evangelist Nona Thomas. Good morning, everyone. This is Catherine Smith of Umami Catering and Events, sharing healthy cooking tips on the lighter side. With the emphasis being hypertension. Unfortunately, high blood pressure affects many of us. While it's true that certain risk factors are out of our control, there are key diet changes you can make to help keep your blood pressure in a healthy range, one of which is watching your salt intake. So here are quick tips to keep your blood pressure numbers looking good, including how to know the amount of sodium you're eating and how you can cut back such as avoiding processed foods, lunch meat, fast foods, and canned foods, or at least rinsing the canned foods before cooking to remove much of the sodium content. You can also cut back on sodium and spice things up by preparing your foods at home. That way you can regulate the amount of sodium in your dishes and use more herbs and spices when cooking. A great place to start would be adding lemon juice or vinegar to certain homemade sauces. This is a flavor booster because the acidity will add a sensation similar to salt. Use salt-free seasoning blends as much as possible, and when cooking meat or poultry, experiment with herbs de province, which are a combination of sodium-free French spice blends, such as thyme, margarine, rosemary, and oregano, that will impart a savoriness to your dishes. Keep in mind that many condiments, including meat tenderizer, steak sauce, soy sauce, salsa, and ketchup, pack high doses of sodium. But if you absolutely must have these items, look for and use the low-sodium product. Avoid boxes of flavored rices, pastas, and soups. And when you prepare grains or starches from scratch, skip the step of adding salt to the water. Add your flavor later with herbs and spices. If you must add salt to your meal, shake it into your hand before sprinkling it on your food. This allows you to see exactly how much you're adding, which puts you in full control. And as a final note, low levels of magnesium in the body are associated with tightening of the arteries which makes a smaller passageway for blood to flow and subsequently increasing blood pressure. So get and keep those arteries open by cooking leafy greens, whole grains, a wide assortment of beans, and halibut, as they are great sources of magnesium and should be incorporated into your diet in an effort to control hypertension. Take time to search for halibut recipes and make it delicious by adding your choice of spices with plenty of fresh vegetables. You're worth it. Trust. And remember, for catering at its finest, contact Umami Catering and Events at umamicatering.com or call us at 314-412-4119. Again, that's Umami Catering at 314-412-4119. Until next time, God bless. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. Here I go declaring, you know that this is the day that the Lord has made and we should rejoice and be glad in it. And I'm so glad, my friends, as we have been rejoicing over our author of the month for the entire month of July. We've been talking with Apostle Frank Bio, who is the author of The Watchman Sees, book two, Seeing Beyond What You See, A More Sure Word of Prophecy. 
So I want to welcome back to the CBC radio show this morning, Apostle Frank Bio. Good morning, sir. Good morning, blessed woman of God, and how are you this beautiful day? All is well, all is well, Apostle, and I know it is with you. Amen, amen. (laughs) I I took the question away from you. I couldn't help it. I said it myself, but I know you know the answer when I ask it anyway. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. (laughs) Yes, this is the day that the Lord has made. We choose. We will be glad in it. Amen. 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 You know what I what I love about what you just said. You said we choose. It is a choice, isn't it, Apostle? Amen. It sure is. Yes, it is. It's a choice, and I believe that you know the choices that the Lord really uh, has given you, or and and how you've been obedient to really publish several books that are are preparing us for the return of Christ. Am I right? Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. And the new book, uh, which is really a part two, it's a it's the second book of the Watchman C series, right? That is correct. Yes. Anybody who may have missed an episode of the show this month, give us the foundation of that book, would you? Yes. Uh, the the two books, the series that you just mentioned, the Watchman uh, C's book one is from a perspective of the Issachar generation, the Bible says that the sons of Issachar, God gave them the ability to read or to understand the times, and then they consulted with the leadership as to what things should be done. So that was book number one. And number two is entitled Watchman Sees Book Two, uh, Seeing Beyond What You See. In, in other words, the Bible tells us that we're not wrestling with flesh or blood, but against principalities and powers. In other words, there are spiritual entities that are operating behind the scene that are influencing us in our everyday lives. And the fact is that there are so many events that are beginning to accelerate. Jesus gave us in Matthew 24, he gives us a a plethora of things that he says that are events that are going to take place, namely Israel becoming a nation and etc. Both of these books actually uh, hinge on the statements that Jesus made, coupled with the book of Revelation, and interesting that these books are not really complicated because we did not take it a chapter-by-chapter dissecting of the Word. What we did was to do it by topics, so it's easier for people to grasp and to understand example is one of them is the United States and Bible prophecy. What about the false prophet? What about the wars that are going to be coming based on what we see in Scripture? And all of this is information that we need to have because to be forewarned is to be forearmed. And I'm saying this because we, the Bible says we have not been given a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love, power, and of a sound mind. I like the Amplified. It says a well-disciplined self-controlled mind. Mm -hmm. That can only happen by being knowledgeable in the Word and having the Word in you and I. You see what I'm saying? Indeed. And, and And so that is part of the overview that we have of both of these books. And the fact is that most people have said that when they've read Watchman C's book one, about 90% of the events have taken place already, and that's been within the last three or four years. Yes. And, you know, um, what I think this book does, uh, I, I think as a whole, uh, the church has, it's almost like we've had our head in the sand. Mm-hmm. You know, we've, I, I don't know, I, I have to say, I don't know what we've been waiting for, but it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's like, well, if, if I find out about it, I'll, I'll do something about it. If I don't find out about it, oh, well. Mm-hmm. You know, and exactly. we can't have that attitude because it no. is so serious that right. Jesus is coming. And this book, too, Two that you've written prepares us even the more for that. That is correct. Absolutely, absolutely. It, it it's really the, the this book today, which we just said book uh, book two. Actually, it's an explanation of current events. Mm-hmm. Okay, so in other words, uh, one of the messages I preach from time to time is what in the world is going on anyway. Hmm. Well, this book gives a clarification of where we are today and where we're headed as not only as a people, a nation, but also as a church. Yes, yes. One thing that that I uh, we kind of touched on, I forget if it was last week or the week before, in how so, so many 
as you stated, of the things that are in book one or have come to pass. And Mm -hmm. there's just a few left in book two. For instance, what's going on in Europe right now? Okay, These things, you talked about it in, in book one. That's correct. Yes. I talked about the one world government. I talked about the uh, the ten nation confederacy. There are numerous things I talked about the false prophet, the rise of the ant the false prophet in scripture, uh a number of these and also the stage being set for the coming Antichrist. Yes, yes. I want to let my listeners know that if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Apostle Frank Bio, who is the CBC July author of the month. We're talking about his newly released book, The Watchman Sees Book Two. Apostle, tell us where folks can get a copy of the book and all of your contact information. Sure. If they go, I have a website, which is bioministries.com. And it's easy to negotiate, and uh, there are various pages, tabs, and one of them is point of contact. The other thing, too, is we have a, uh, the, uh, the shopping cart. Uh, I do have a plethora of uh, books and things like that. And the interesting thing about it is, Evangelist, I am now in the process of getting videos that I've had in the past in teaching sessions, and I'm going to put those on my website so people can be blessed by some of the teachings that I've done in depth, such as the blood, such as uh, praise, all of these being weapons that we talked about in our midweek uh, teachings that we had several weeks ago. Yes, yes. You know, uh, I think we talked about this too, Apostle. You're you're available. You travel yes. across the country yes. uh, with seminars, workshops about these yes. important subjects. So uh, yes. if, if we have anyone listening right now who is just remotely interested in coming in and doing those teachings, they can reach out to you, can't they? Yes, uh, the contact information has not only uh, my address, uh, the web, uh, the uh, internet information, but it has my mailing address and also our phone capability on how we can be reached. Yes, yes, and I, I think it's so important. Right now, things are so severe. The times are so serious. Yes. There, there, there are questions. There's some confusion, perhaps, with right. folks in the body of Christ about what exactly is going on. What's it? What's it leading to? What? Are, what? What's? What's happening? And I think you can help clear that up. Exactly. One of the things I do talk about is the, the status of the church. Uh, there are two churches. I call it the nominal church or the church in name only, which is a powerless church. On the other hand, we have a remnant church, and that's the one where God confirms his word with miracle signs and wonders. And it's imperative that the born-again believer understand the difference between the two, because, you see, you can't give what you don't have, evangelist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I need to have my batteries charged up even before I go and preach or do a conference. So I go to a church that I know is what I consider the remnant church Mm -hmm. to get energized for the assignment that is before me. That's right. That's right. You know, um, uh, we're speaking on uh, The Watchman Sees Book 2 this month. You're going to come back and we're going to take another one of your uh, uh, important books and we're going to break that down through another month of you being an author on the program. That is correct. Uh, Apostle, we're about out of time, but give us your contact information one more time, would you? Okay, it's bioministries.com, but my email address is bioministries at gmail.com. That's bioministries at gmail.com. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Apostle. Is there anything else in closing that you want to say before uh, we, we, we finish out this month? I'm just simply encouraging the believers to get a hold of these books, but I'm simply saying is look up your redemption draweth nigh. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Amen. Amen. Apostle, thank you. It has been such an honor being of service to you for this month of July. Our CBC author, thank you so much. Blessings to you. Love, peace, and increase to all your hearers as well. Amen. All right, friends, we're going to take a break. I'll be right back. What's going on? It's your boy Scooter, and you are now listening to the CBC Radio Show with Evangelist Nona Thomas. Good morning, and thanks again for listening to Dr. Tebow's Cairo Healthy Living Tip. Today's topic is plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis is a serious and painful condition that occurs when the ligament along the bottom of your foot becomes inflamed and your fascia becomes very, very tense. Sometimes a spur can form. Pain can be felt for several days or even months. Months. 
And this heel lift can cause so much problems. It can be caused by too much standing, poor shoes, repetitive stress on your foot, diet low in vitamin C, changes in your activities, being overweight, or because of an injury. So what can you do to maintain plantar fasciitis? Well, sit back and listen because I have some tips for you. Number one, a donut pad or a soft pad. Going to your podiatrist to get this donut pad or soft pad can help by placing it on the bottom of the area of your foot to help with support. By doing this, incorporating a gentle stretch technique can make a big difference. Number two, myofascial release. This particular massage technique is good to release the ligaments and muscles of pain present in that area. Avoiding the spur is a very, very, very critical portion of that. Number three, bromelain instead of natural derivative drugs. Taking a natural anti-inflammatory such as bromelain will be great to help with the healing properties. Staying hydrated with water and eating the right foods would definitely be a bonus. Last but not least, chiropractic care. Chiropractic adjustments of your feet and the appropriate lifestyle modifications have shown to help restore function and relieve the pain that is felt. Seeing your chiropractor can help bring in a holistic approach to your discomfort. Remember, your health is important and your spinal health is too. So get adjusted because it can make a big difference inside of you. If you have any questions, you can reach me at on Facebook, Dr. Katrina Thompson Boundary, Instagram or Twitter at The Pocket Doctor, or you can call me at 636-336-8049. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, you know, we've been so blessed. We've been starting for the month of July, a mm-hmm. Faith Matters, Faith Matters, Faith Matters, a mm-hmm. Faith Matters series. Mm-hmm. And none other than my friend, Bishop Prentice Thomas, has been taking us on this journey of how faith matters. So mm-hmm. I want to welcome back to the CBC Radio Show, Bishop Prentice Thomas. Good morning and afternoon and all those good things to my evangelist, Nona Thomas. <laughs> How are you doing today? All is well, sir. <laughs> you know I'm going to ask you. Yes, you sure are. Is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Yes, it is. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. You keep Absolutely. getting those A pluses. You keep getting those gold <laughs> stars, Bishop. Praise well, I tell God. you, God is so good. Before we get into your Faith Matters word for this yeah. Sunday, mm-hmm. you know, we're so excited because this yes. coming Thursday, this coming we Thursday. will be at the State of the Art Adult Healthcare Center with mm-hmm. a live broadcast yeah. of the CBC radio show. We're excited, right? Oh, absolutely. And we've been sharing that with um, a lot of people, and we know that it's going to be just, uh, like they say, off the chain and off the hook with the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the live broadcast there from 1600 and you know it's just stepping into new territory yes. new ground and the Lord is blessing the increase is coming yes. in yes. we give God the glory for that and and as we stated before the the food and the love and the fellowship it's going to be really great indeed mm-hmm. this this mm-hmm. open house Really, uh, Bishop, we're so looking forward to it. The open house is actually going to be from 9 to 3, uh-huh. and we will be broadcasting from 11 to 1, so yes, it's going to yes. be great. Yes, absolutely. So I'm just looking forward to seeing 1600 there and how everything is going to be set up. And uh, you know, and the people are going to enjoy because there will be games and and entertainment and bingo. And, oh, my God, yes. it's going to be really Not to good. mention mm-hmm. the, the food. The food. Yes. You know, you're going to be giving out free samples and different things. And I tell you. Mm-hmm. The food for the, uh, mm-hmm. the, the the participants is, the chef is wonderful. Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, different varieties of, of food. And like we uh, talked about earlier, we let the participants also talk about what they would like to have, yes. you know, during the daycare and all of that. So right, they're really involved. Mm-hmm. They're involved. Yes, well, wonderful. Yes. Can't wait for that. That is coming up this Thursday, July mm-hmm. 28th, St. Louis. We want to see you there. Give us the address again, mm-hmm. Bishop. It's 4130 East Lexington, right off of Natural Bridge and Clay. If you know where Natural Bridge and Grand is, go up to Clay, make that turn. And the next street is Lexington. Uh, we're in that uh, red school brick building right there. And that's where the open house is going to be and the live broadcast from 1600. We're giving Jesus the glory we for that. We are. We are. We are. Now, let's get to Faith Matters. You know, here we are mm-hmm. in the times, the turbulent times that we're in, in the world, the mm-hmm. nation, the country, our community. Faith yes. Matters, doesn't it, Bishop? Absolutely. And the Bible, our scripture today comes from Hebrews chapter 10 and verse number 
remember, starting with verse 35, and it reads, Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which has great recompense of reward, for you have need of patience, that after you've done the will of God, you might receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them that draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Let's go back up. Amen. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence. Here the scriptures letting us know that confidence is synonymous to faith. So cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which has great recompense of reward. And evangelists, I promised them on last week that I would talk about those four D's yes. that people have to deal with. And when it comes to faith, faith. Amen. Those four D's is um, disappointment, distraction, discouragement, and delay. You will have to deal with those four D's. Your faith really matters, and it's very important that you understand that when you're seeking to operate your faith in any realm, whether it's financial, physical, uh, spiritual, mental, whatever realm you're seeking to operate your faith in, you will have to deal with discouragement. The enemy will try to discourage you, amen, and throw you off. You have to deal with distraction, things coming to try to distract you from the completion of operating your faith. You have to deal with discouragement. Many times the enemy, my God, try to discourage us when we're operating our faith and then also delay. Now, when it comes to delay, i like you to pay close attention to this. When it comes to delay, many times the Lord is working out details, amen, in the midst of operating your operating your faith. And especially if other people and other things is involved with uh, the process of what you're looking for, look forward to to be manifest. So uh, many times I'll tell people that uh, if things is being delayed, it's because God is working out some details mm -hmm. pertaining pertaining to it. You know, so when you're seeking to operate your faith and your faith really, really matters. And in order for it to have the full manifestation, you have to not cast away your confidence because your confidence is what causes you to receive your reward. Amen. Because your faith really matters. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Confidence. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember giving an, an example. You know, we have faith in the chair that mm -hmm. when we get ready to sit down, that chair is going to mm -hmm. hold us and we're mm -hmm. not going to mm -hmm. fall. Mm -hmm. So if we have faith in something that mm -hmm. man did, however, was given the wisdom to do it by God, right. then why don't we have faith in him like we should, mm -hmm. Bishop? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm right. saying? Absolutely. Because the, he says that if we have a mustard seed, a little faith. tiny mm -hmm. mustard seed, we can yes. move a mountain. Yes, we talked about that on last week about the Jesus said, if you have faith as the size of a grain of a mustard seed, you can say, see, you, your faith is released by uh, action and mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. by the words that you speak. So your faith really matters. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which causes you to receive your reward. I want to use an example that um, I heard about uh, by T.L. Osborne, mm -hmm. amen, when him and his wife, uh, Daisy, were ministering in the foreign field and uh, he got ready to pray for this lady who was blind. He said to her, uh, do you have faith, faith to believe that uh, God will heal you? She said, I don't know if I have enough faith to believe God to, you know, open up her blind eyes. Mm -hmm. And so, and he just stepped back and prayed for a moment. He said, well, do you have confidence that the Lord can heal you? And she said, oh yes, I got plenty of that. And he laid hands upon her in the name of Jesus and her eyes were, were open. Glory be to God, mm -hmm. you know, just changing the terminology a little bit. But your uh, faith is synonymous to confidence and the same vice versa. And that confidence or that faith is in the person of Jesus Christ. Yes. We are his ambassadors. We are the ones, amen, that he uses and he operates through. But your faith, all of our faith must rest and operate in the person mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ because we're not in a religion. We're 
we're in a relationship, yes. amen, with our Lord and with our Savior and with our Heavenly Father. So it's very important to know that, yes, distraction will come, but you have to do like Jesus told the centurion, like Jesus told Jairus, uh, be not afraid, only believe. Mm-hmm. Yes, distraction will come. Disappointment will happen. Sometimes things fall through. Sometimes things do not come out the way that people expect them to come out. Amen. But that does not mean that your faith does not matter and that faith does not work. Many a times, amen, there's, dis- there's disappointment, distraction. And what was my other one that I, that I gave them? My God. Delay. I, delay. You said delay, delay. delay. discouragement. Mm-hmm. Dis- discouragement. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can be discouraged, amen, because it looks like, it looks like it's not coming through. Mm-hmm. But God never fails and he will answer your faith. Now, I want to give you a phrase to say when your faith is out there. Notice I said when your faith is out there. Mm -hmm. See, your faith is so vital. Whether people are saved or not, we want them to be saved, praise God. But your faith is very important. Psychologists, psychiatrists talk about it that, you know, people need to find them a religious teacher that teaches faith because your faith is very important. Amen. Even for your uh, mental health and well-being. So what I want to say this to you is very important that you realize that your faith matters because without your faith, it is impossible for you to be able to please Please God, God. my God. And whatever you're going after, when your faith is out there, now I'm talking about once your faith is out there, you have to have a confession Mm -hmm. to back it up. Mm -hmm. And that confession has to match what you're believing God for, what you're asking God for. So this is a, a faith confession of the image of God by you being the image of God. I want you to say, God is moving for me right now. I cannot see it. I cannot feel it, but I know it's on its way. All right. Glory be to God. Can we say that again? God is moving Moving for me me right right now. now. I I cannot cannot see see it. it. I I cannot cannot feel it, but but I know it's on its way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Mm -hmm. That's a Mm -hmm. word right there. That's a word right there because also faith matters and faith in God Mm -hmm. brings peace. Yes. It brings a spirit of peace because, you know, you're casting your burdens on him. You're not carrying this thing. So many of our people, Mm -hmm. they're carrying so many burdens. They're carrying so Mm -hmm. much. But Mm -hmm. when you cast it on him, when you have faith in God, because your faith in God and Jesus Christ matters, Mm -hmm. you will receive peace. Yes. See, and that's very important. People have to learn how to pray things through, but also you have to learn how to carry it in faith, carry it in your faith. As a matter of fact, as I'm sitting here right now, uh, my faith is out there in several areas. Surely. My faith is out there moving for me in several areas. Yes. For my for my home, for my kids, different reports, you know, that you get in regards to your kids, in regards to different uh, people in the church. Yes. Amen. And even different prayer requests that I that I receive. And the more you exercise your faith, the more it will grow and grow and grow. Yes. And your faith can be um, utilized in different areas. Like I said, as I'm sitting here right now, my faith is out there. Yes, Amen. In different places doing different things because Hallelujah. your faith is also your servant. And I'll talk about that on next time. All right, Bishop. Glory now, be to God. tell us about uh, the times and everything for your Sunday service because, mm-hmm. you know, this program uh, goes off at 11 o'clock. Folks will still have time to get to your Sunday morning service. That's won't they? right. They'll be able to come to our service. Our service start at 12 noon. Amen. And the speaker is up at 1 o'clock. <coughs> Bless his holy name. <laughs> well, this Sunday, amen. This Sunday. Uh, one of my one of my uh, brothers, Doctor Hamilton, his son is preaching. Little Steve, amen. Uh-huh. And uh, on this Sunday morning, but also evangelists, you know, we have our summer camp meeting coming up. That's the right. summer camp meeting is In the August. first two weeks of August. That's August the first through the fourteenth, and we have various preachers and ministers that are coming. And the focus is Romans one and sixteen. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. We want to focus in on the cross and the resurrection. We have children and young people that don't know anything about the cross and about the resurrection because we want to see people saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. Glory to God and delivered in the name of Jesus. Amen. We're we're just about out of time, Bishop. Now you're going to come back and talk Mm -hmm. about the camp because the camp Mm -hmm. meetings, because that's important. I don't know why that reminds me of... 
I tell you what comes to mind, right? I'm just going to say it, and, and, and mm, I'm just going to say it. Azusa. Mm, Azusa comes to mind glory. when I hear you talk about these camp, camp meetings. meetings. Glory yes, to yes, God. Yes. So mm-hmm. uh, uh, come on out this morning. Uh, mm-hmm. Your speaker is going to be? Uh, Lil Steve Hamilton um, from uh, Houston, Texas. Amen. Mm-hmm. And the address, one more time, Bishop? It's 4130 East Lexington, right off of Natural Bridge in Clay. 12 mm-hmm. noon. Be there. Thank mm-hmm. you so much for being a part of what mm-hmm. is going on here at the CBC Radio Show. Thank you, Bishop mm-hmm. Prentice Thomas, my friend. Oh, well, I'm glad to be here anytime with my evangelists in the name of Jesus. What's going on? It's your boy Scooter, and you are now listening to the CBC Radio Show with evangelist Nona Thomas. God has been so good during this program. I want to thank everybody for listening to the Christian Business Connection CBC Radio Show. Go to our website, thecbcradioshow.com. I'll see you at the live broadcast this Thursday, State of the Art Adult Health Care Center. Looking forward to seeing you. As always in closing, to God be the glory. Christian Business Connection. Connecting your business or ministry to the world.